All right, welcome back. Uh, before we went to that break, uh, we were talking about Deontay Wilder. Cecilia was having a good laugh here. But let me, you know, everybody has to mm -hmm. hear what, what you said about Deontay. He says he's going to go back, go to the NBA. I mean, he said a lot of things. MMA, <laughs> sorry. If, if I lose, I'm going to MMA. Uh, my, my strengths, I'm, I'm, I have my, strengths. It's, it's a blessing and a cost. I have to say, okay, I think the whole thing is that fighters are actually scared to fight him because he's very powerful. Mm -hmm. I remember I said one time that if Anthony Joshua wants to fight him, he should ensure that his own PT run is up to 25. Uh, he has, you know, had a lot of belt, a lot of money and everything, and he knows, okay, whatever happens, if he loses, it wouldn't be a problem. But Deontay Wada, as we know him, is a very powerful fighter and all that. He's got the power, he's got everything. But then when you want to face him, you have to say, like, think twice. If you don't, it's difficult. Okay. Can we end it there now? Yes. Yeah. Like, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Now we'll talk. I'll be worried. not talking about them having a new coach. I mean, everything, we, we know everything wasn't really a spectacular coach when it was at FC in Fire we know that Rafael Everton, we know that. But then I was surprised that, you know, Abia Warriors had to pick him. But they feel, I mean, this man can add a whole lot because what they actually want to do is someone that will be able to kind of uh, build a, a model or rather get a, a kind of a playing pattern, so to speak, for Abia Warriors. Build a structure that any other coach that will come much later, you know, will be able to, you know, rely on and not just having to start all afresh. Maybe that's what they really want to do. And a lot of what they've been able to do since the time he was con uh, contracted and mm -hmm. all that, uh, yesterday he was unveiled. And unveiling him simply means they are ready for business. All the players, they'll start, you know, having to get new players now. If they're not getting new ones, then the ones they have in the academy, if they have any, then they have to bring that, in that's some way, new that's players. That's the way to start. That, that, that's so. the ideal way to start. When you, look, when you um, announce a manager or you allow a manager to begin pre-season, what you're saying is, we are ready. Go do your job, we'll do our own part. Uh, and I guess the people at Habia Warriors who are setting uh, targets for, for the man, that's what we hear, that they want him to finish in the top three. Is it really, uh, is that really a target, but it's more like an aspiration. That's what they aspire. That's what they aspire, to, where they are aspiring to okay. be. Let's right. not argue about choice of words. <laughs> Aspiration, target, but they would like to finish in the top three. Let's put it mildly yeah, anyway. Like to, they would like, like to finish to, in the top yeah. three. So that's what they want. Yeah. But I do hope that they've you know, put all the structures uh, in, uh, in place. Uh, uh, this man was able to do something uh, with FCA Fire, but uh, some would say maybe not too spectacular, but at least he got them you know, that, um, that cup, uh, that, that um, the Federation Cup yeah, uh, that they won. And that's something. That's, yes, you know, okay. that, you know, that's something. And, you know, uh, Mika Yama, you know, you know, chairman of the club, all smiles there. I mean, went for his man, got his man. Uh, got and, him and, early. And he's ready. Got him early, early yeah. Which got him is early. Really cool. They announced it two weeks ago. They unveiled him in Umaya uh, yesterday. I mean, that's how to do business. Go straight for whatever you want. Get your job done. Put your house in order. Now the coach can look at the team and say, okay. you know, of all the guys that you have, uh, consider 15 good enough, let these ones go, bring in uh, the new guys. Uh, my, my only word of advice, um, and I know that you know, they have a lot of experienced hands, mm, yeah. is that, look, good players that are not well motivated won't get your results. Of course, we all know that. So you need to allow the boys to be motivated wow. so that the coach won't have any excuse. Definitely, because he has said that what he wants to do, he has come to Umaya with a very good intention. That is making the club one of the best in the league. So when you have a coach talking like that, it simply means he's fully focused, he's ready, he has seen what he's got on ground. They had to, you know, mm -hmm. there was a kind of a tour with Mikayama right there at the stadium, what he has seen with the players. He's happy with everything he has seen. So it simply means that all he needs to do is to, you know, build on the structure he has seen on ground and see how he can, you know, get Abia Warriors be one of the best clubs you can think of in Nigeria Professional Football League. Let's listen to Rafael Everton now. In the season, the team qualified to to continental ticket. Yeah, the team have good players. Uh, I see the one week the training have good players. I believe in put the tech, uh, the tactics, everything. The players work very good. I believe this. But use my okay. That's Rafael Everton there. You know, talking <laughs> about. 
what he needs to do at the club, what he intends to bring into the club. We know Abia Warriors, I mean, one of those clubs, when they got promotion into the league the last time, they've never gone in relegation. Most of the clubs that came with them have all gone in relegation. Some of them are back, but they are still there. And they also have, a, remember when Kenan Baboye was there also, they have a world, you know, they're not like trigger happy, kind of, I'm borrowing these words from you now. Yeah. Another kind of uh, management staff that really trigger happy the fire coaches, no. coaches at will. They kind of try to give them time. So they, they this do one have, is easy. They yes. didn't win the league for us or win the Champions League for us. Top three. Just top three. That's what they think. That's what they're aspiring. So it's not like a particular target. You have to do this. They say, okay, these are aspirations. This is what we want. If you can deliver us, deliver it for us, that will be fine. So I think it was like two seasons ago, uh, they started like an awesome fire. At some point, they had a couple of players in the Super Eagles. I mean, that was how good they, had, they were at that point. Uh, and at some point, everything started coming. Yeah. And, you know, the, the instance you were referring to, the coach left by mutual consent. There of wasn't course. any rancors. Um, I think there was a coach that had one or two issues. But it's everywhere because you have demanding of fans. Course. When you have demanding fans, you know, things fans, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. And, you know, the management sometimes may not know what is the mind of the fans. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these things are at opposite ends. But we'll see. We we'll see. We're hoping that we will be able to uh, speak with. Uh, um, Mikayama, yeah. Yeah, and, and he's on. He's on to us okay. now. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Hello. Good morning, Cecilia. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you, sir. It's good to have you here. Now, you guys just unveiled uh, Rafael Everton as the coach of Abia Warriors, and everyone has been saying there's a target for him. Is he a target, or more like what the club? is aspiring to be and why did you decide to choose Everton as a coach? I don't know why everybody target, 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 target. Uh, when we're playing football, it's uh, professional football, it's a business. So the owner of the business has an aspiration. Our aspiration is to have a good playing side, a decent playing side, a side that should be able to have very attractive display of the leather game and um, Good football will lead to good results. Good football will lead to good business. So we felt that the man will add value to 